Are your flip cups more like flop cups? <laughs> Are your wrecked rings just, well, wrecked? <sighs> well, we have the solution for you. And that's the Fluid Art Experience. Here in Dallas, Texas, on November the 12th and November the 13th, you have the opportunity to be live and in person with one of your five favorite YouTube artists. Come learn some tips techniques and everything you need to know to replicate some beautiful art, you'll be taking away art with you and you also have the opportunity to come and join us at a Texan barbecue and a question and answer session. So why don't you go and log on right now at www.fluidartexperience.com and see what all the fun is about. We'll hopefully see you soon. Well, hello everyone out there. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Yes, you are. <laughs> and we've got a really fun, packed episode today. Yeah, absolutely. So you might remember maybe three or four episodes ago, we did some little canvases with some colors that we picked mm -hmm. for our friend Ben. Ben has this really beautiful rug, which I'll show you right here, that we wanted to, or he wanted to try and match some canvases too. So we put some little kind of pieces just as some testers. Yeah. He loved them. He picked Jeremy's process of the wandering straight paw, mm -hmm. and he's commissioned us to make three 12 by 36 inch panels for him. Yes. So when you push this together, it's basically 36. 36 by 36. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, mathematician there. Well done. So um, yeah, we've got these th this 36 by 36 composition, which is three 12 by 36 inch panels to pour approximately like 50 to 60 ounces of paint on. Yes. And then I'm going to resin them too. So this is going to be an episode that we'll, we'll show you in stages. The first stage being the actual pause today. Yeah. Now you really like these colors. I do. I really, really love these colors. They were very autumnal almost yeah. as well, but they're really, yeah. really beautiful. For phalo turquoises and blues and browns. Mm. Deliciousness. So Ben, this one's all for you. We hope that you really enjoy these canvases because they'll be hanging on your wall at some point very soon. Um, but we're going to show you one big giant camera angle because we're going to pour this on the table and we're going to collaborate together. Yes. It's a Massey Art Studios collaboration. It is. So this is exciting. Um, so let's get to it. Um, oh, before we get there, yes. let me just tell you guys quickly, seats and bookings, classroom seats are actually filling out fast for the Fluid Art Experience which um, is over here at some point. Please go and check out the fluidartexperience.com, fluidartexperience.com, um, if you're still holding out for tickets because there's still some to be had. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. All right, that's it. That's it? Let's get to the table. <laughs> Nothing else to say. Okay. Let's go pouring. We'll All see right. you there, guys. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Hey, guys. So this is another Massey collaboration yes. with ourselves. Yes. Jeremy and I are actually gonna collaborate <laughs> on what is actually a 36 by 36 inch canvas that's been split into three, three panels. Three panels. Because we've got 12 by 36 times by three. And as we told you guys in the intro, our friend Ben saw this piece that we did for him on the channel. Yes. And he said that he loved it. And so we've taken the colors with a slight change here and there just to make the colors better. And that's what we're gonna be pouring on these three panels for Ben. Yes, so we sure are. It's a commission for Ben today. It is. And he liked Jeremy's straight pour over the flip cup that we did. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yes. Now this 36 by 36 inch canvas will actually hold 48 ounces of paint. Yes. So that's a heck of a lot of paint. It is a lot of paint. So Show Pony's got a jug, which will hold 33 and a half, 34 ounces. Yes. And then we've got two 18 ounce cups, which we're gonna fill all three of them and then straight pour them onto the canvas. The way we're gonna do it is, cup, jug, cup, across yes. this canvas, right? And we've also got a base coat that we're gonna add on here as well. So this one's gonna be fun. You're gonna see us in this angle for a lot of this video. 
we'll see what happens. And we're probably going to tilt these out together as well, right? Absolutely. It's going to be tilting time times two. <laughs> that is... Times three. By time, yeah, times three. But two of us doing it at the yes. same time. All right, show pony. anything else I'm missing? No, that's it. Yeah? Honestly, yeah. Do you want to introduce the colors? And then and then you can layer your jug, I'll layer the cups, and we'll get to pouring. Absolutely. All right, so what do we have there? Sarah? We have this blue, sky blue light by Amsterdam. You can't see that, it's because it's so far away. I know, away. it's so far but away. But this is sky blue light. Um, we have quinacridone burnt orange by Golden's. To which I have added Actually, you haven't got it on the table. It's fire, oh no, it's the bronze, I'm sorry. The copper, I'm sorry. That one. Yes. Is, yes, you have got it on the table. Yes, it is copper by Liquitex Basics. Because we added fire opal last time, and this is actually the closest thing you can get to fire opal if yeah. you don't have fire opal. It's exactly. It's a very fire opal exactly. adjacent color. Um, then we have burnt sienna. Lovely. By to, Liquitex Basics. To which I have added. This luscious antique copper from uh, Treasure Gold. Last time we added the Artes of Pearl Space Brown, but I don't think that that did anything to the color. Yeah. Um, whereas this is a beautiful, almost plummy, plummy color. Plummy color. And to the burnt sienna, it's made it this really shiny deliciousness. Nice. It's almost like, almost like milk chocolate that's got shimmer in it. Now we also have the 24 karat gold by Deco Arts Americana. To which I have added the pearl copper gold. Exactly right, because we didn't- Arteza. We didn't want it to be quite so shiny bright. Yes. Um, and the pearl copper gold has this really delicious, almost like burnt gold yeah. essence to it. So yeah. that's, yeah. So, and then um, iridescent white by Liquitex Basics. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and that's the six colors that are gonna make up the pour. Now yes. the base coat color is a color that we've made ourselves. It yes. is a mis mix of blue, it's a, um, it's a mix of like a ocean blue. It's a mix of Prussian blue. There's some silver in there. And I added a touch of black. So it's like a turquoisey, pearly, delicious blue. We'll show you that when we get it on the canvas. Nice. All right. All right. Should we do this? Yes. I see you itching to layer this cup. I am. Let's do it. All right, show pony. So with that big one liter jug, yes. let's get to a layer in. I haven't layered a big jug like this before, I don't think. Well, you're gonna do it in exactly the same way. It's just, you can, I guess, get thicker layers as you get further up the jug. Yes, exactly. And you are not gonna have time to be worrying about every drip on this, because we're gonna be layering like 48 ounces of paint. Yeah. So don't stress about little drips. I'm remembering that I have to put bigger layers. Now we're gonna go in with the, this beautiful burnt sienna.
Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy with that, sir? I am happy with that. What a wonderfully delicious, fun packed 34 ounce worth of paint jug. Right. I'm going to layer two cups. So, that was a lot of layering. A lot of layering. That's a lot of paint that we've just put into the jug and the sure two enough. cups for this canvas. So, I'm excited to see it all <laughs> on here. Um, we have our jug. Now, this is a base coat, like I said, that we've made ourselves, custom color. Um, what I think we should do, Show Pony, yes. is separate the canvas. So, well, we can, yeah, let's separate the canvases so we make sure that we get the edges. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And then we'll push them back together again when we put the composition on. Got it. Is that Perfect. cool? Perfect, yes. All right, peeps, let's get to flooding these canvases. ladles and jelly spoons so we've got this really delicious base coat color down oh my gosh so beautiful you know we, we talked about how we're going to do this we've got the cup at this top the cup at the bottom and the jug in the middle because we probably will end up tilting off a lot of the cups and so we really want the main composition to be out yeah. of one yeah. receptacle exactly um but we're going to tilt this one out together Jeremy has layered this one, I've layered the two. Yep. Um, you pour this cup and the jug and I'll pour the one at the bottom. Okay, yeah? sounds good. Um, let's, let's do this. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I was holding my breath. Go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna start right here. Yes. 
That's a lot of pain. That is a lot of pain. It's like for 30, 40, like 50, maybe 60 ounces of paint on here. And this canvas, these canvases don't need anywhere near that amount. Whoa, a little gust of wind there. Here you go, show pony. Thank you. It's crazy. It's got a little windy in the studio. Um, so we know that we're gonna be able to stretch this out all the way down these canvases. And that is definitely the plan. So what I suggest that we do is come back just a little Okay. Anchor the colors over the corner. Okay. But just a little, and then take it all the way down the back of the canvas. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So it is 36 by 36 inch, <laughs> which is 12 by 36 times by three, tilting time. Yes. We're gonna tilt these out together. So Show Pony, do you wanna go around on that side and I'll stay on this side? Yes. And we'll do these one at a time. Yes. So let's pull this one out in order to get composition. Yeah. Okay, let's go a little closer because they can't see it. Okay, we're good. So you just lift straight up and come to me. Let's get the weight of the paint off, off the back of the canvas. Love it. This one. Same again? Same again. Same again. Okay. To me? Okay, stop, stop, stop. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, stop. Okay, to me, to just to, let's get this corner again this time. Higher. Okay, stop. All right. And I call the lights. And I call upon the brightest stars of night. And I go to sleep. I let them in. I'm home.
I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. All right, middle panel. All right, this one's gonna be hard because... I know. Because of where it is. Yeah. Okay. Tilt to me first. I feel like this one's got the most amount of pain on it, thankfully. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. There you have it, guys. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, this was a heck of a lot of fun. It was so much fun. I, I really loved stretching out all that paint and just see yeah. it kind of move all over the canvas. And we did our calculations, so we knew we had enough paint on here. Yes. I like how those rivers and those ribbons have kind of like stretched all the way across the canvas, which was kind of the plan that we had. Yeah and um although these were never going to be matchy matchy because they were each like you know tilted out separately you know there's nice kind of you know synergies between where the colors do meet in some places but clearly each canvas has the same colors on it i like that it's not matchy matchy yeah i kind of do too to be honest with you but they are they're not but they are which yeah, is really great exactly it's kind of like the three pieces that we've got in our living room yes exactly yeah so please do let us know what you think in the comments. Um, this was a really, really fun pour for us. So um, we will definitely take you in for some close-ups. All right, guys. Thank you so much.
So there you have it, everyone and Ben. <laughs> there you have it. This is really hard to actually get a close-up view of the can pan yeah. the the canvas canals. The canvas canals. Yeah. Yes. I am all over the place today. <laughs> the canvas panels. Because it was such a huge composition and we did it on the I table. Know. So we hope that you got to see them in, in, in the best way possible. But we will be resin in these pieces. Yes. And because you guys have been asking for a resin video for so long, I'm going to do this one for you on mm. camera. So I'll at least show you how I resin one of those panels at the very least. So you'll get a chance to have another look at these canvases again sometime soon. Nice. Please let us know what you thought. How yeah. did you think it went? Oh my gosh, I thought it went amazing. Um, I loved it. I thought it was very beautiful. The way it stretched out was great. Um, right. Kept a lot of the composition. Uh, the colors were beautiful. I, I, I loved it. We thought at one point that we didn't have enough paint on the canvases, but then we realized we were just scared about how much <laughs> negative space there was before yeah. we started tilting. And you're quite right, if we would have added more paint, we would have ended up, up throwing a lot of the composition off the canvas. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's a lot of gold on here. There is a lot sure. of gold. But thankfully, that's a colour that he enjoys and it is in the rug. So yeah. it all is going to tie in real nicely. Yeah. And I think these are going to be super sparkly and beautiful when they're resined as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was a really fun one to do and I enjoy tilting with you too. Thanks, I enjoy tilting with you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, all right, guys, this is a really fun Tuesday episode. Thank you for everyone that's here in the premiere with us. Yes. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you have already. And um, that's it, really. Um, we'll see you on Friday for another fun pour. Yeah. So let's let you get on with the rest of your Tuesday Eve. One quick thing. Oh my gosh, what is it? If you guys haven't already gone and checked us out on TikTok, uh -huh. please do. Huh. Yes. Oh yeah. Jeremy is now 100% responsible for social medias <laughs> of TikTok. Yes. So he's yes. been posting up a storm. Yeah. Actually, and Cole's Color, who we did the swing collaboration with has also been helping us kind of yeah. navigate that medium because he's a TikTok sensation. So yeah. yeah, please go check us out. And what's the handle? The handle for yeah. us is Massey Art Studio. There's a surprise. Yeah, it's <laughs> Massey Art Studio everywhere. That's TikTok, Instagram, and on YouTube yes. and Facebook as well for that yes. matter. Um, so yes, thank you for that reminder. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and a really fun week, and we'll see you back here on Friday. Sounds good. See you then, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank... Spank? <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> Larry's. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our... Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houdsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, and it's Gillian Barnett. Now with the platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys and to everyone else that whose names that you'll see here listed below, 
thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey. And we're going to keep pouring. Yes. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys.